Hey y'all, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for this Tuesday, January 19th, 2009. We've got a really special uh, show today. Well, show, vlog, whatever. Um, uh, today is the drawing for Batik on Black and I thought I'd let you admire the spiffy hat for a few minutes. This actually belongs to my daughter. Um, and it's here today because I need a place to put all the names for the Batiks on Black drawing. I've actually already filmed this first half of this video once and um, had some microphone issues. So fortunately I had split it into two uh, separate halves because I did the second half of folding and showing off all the, the names that I had done um, separately. So you get to see that at the end of the video. So first of all, I want to show off these great Batiks on Black. Um, if you want to see individual pictures of these, go over to the Flickr group and have a look, and almost all of them are there, and you can get a good look at, at what each of these looks like. So, um, there are only a few that aren't from So Hooked. The rest of these patterns are available um, for free on So Hooked. So, let's get started. Not a So Hooked pattern, but still really beautiful. We've got another one here, both very geometric. This is one of the ones I threw in the pool, even though I'm not participating. This is a, a batik cowboy boot. It's kind of hard to see, but I thought that'd be a nice little touch since I'm uh, from Texas and don't own a pair of cowboy boots and don't normally wear cowboy hats, but I thought that would amuse you guys, so here you go. Um, this is actually the um, umbrella corp pattern without the corners on it. I've got an apple one of my all-time favorites, which is a quill, and this batik fabric came from, uh, it's fabric I used on a purse that I made. Got a kitty. Um, this is my wonky Christmas tree made in batiks, and the center batik actually came from the quilt I made from Hard Hat Cat, and this is also batiks from her, and that batik fabric came from Australia. That's fabric she gave me, and then I made a quilt for her. This next set all go together, so we'll start with this guy and he's being chased by these guys. Take a good look at them. And one more. And this is the burrow. And this, this block is even more beautiful in person. The, the batiks on that are just great. And two-tone star, which I think actually goes that way. These were all mixed up from when I tried to film this the first time, and then my sound was completely horrible, so I had to do this all over again. And this one was pieced by um, Shay, and Shay, I think I might have to steal your picture of that one for Soho, because I really like the way that turned out. And I love the fairy as well. We've got a goblet of fire, and Deathly Hallows symbol, which is actually purple, it's not showing up all that great here. A wand wonky little star, which I think actually goes that way. Pumpkin. Look at all those great fabrics in there. And a seven-pointed star. A spool of thread with an awesome stripey looking batik fabric. This is another Christine Thrush. This is her starter, like her beginner um, tutorial block, which you can use as an arrow. Or as a tree. Or as an arrow going that way. Um, we've got a beautiful snowflake. And this is a chubby little star from uh, So Hooked. And we've got a daisy. There are, in case I didn't say it already, um, probably four or five uh, blocks that aren't here yet, but they're from people that I know, and I know they'll be here, and I won't send these out to the winner until I get those blocks. So now, without further ado, Let's uh, have a little hat hair and fill this with names and do our drawing. With the magic of editing, you'll get to see me fold all of these and put them into this hat. So let's do that right now. I'm trying to fix it so you can see the hat. The last time I did this, you couldn't see where I was throwing them, and it just looked like I was throwing them off into space. I have to put my cat in because he's driving me crazy. All right, let's fold these guys up.
and done. So all the names in here. Get them all stirred up. So remember, um, if you made a pattern, that was an entry. If you made one of my patterns, that was two entries. And if you added your picture to the Flickr group, three entries. So some of these people have a lot of entries. Um, everyone had more than one. And with only one exception, every name in here is whatever your Flickr username is. That's where I, I got your username from. So without further ado, let's find, oh, lost one. Put that back in there. Is that it? Yeah, it's the only one I lost. Let's pick one. And I'm trying really hard not to look. So I've got this away from me. And then I'm going to close my eyes. And we're going to pick one. And whoever gets it, this is it. And the winner is... Lacey L. Congratulations, Lacey. You won all the batiks on black. I will have those in the mail to you as soon as um, I get the last few in the mail and I have your address, so you're good to go. And that is going to be it for this week. Uh, I'll have my own crafties to show off next week. And you guys have a great week. I look forward to everyone else's talk to me Tuesday. And I'll see you later. Congratulations again, Lacey. Bye.